Hey, what's up everybody? It's Josh, the Mustache Marketer. Uh, coming back for a video to show you guys how to collect email addresses inside ManyChat, where those email addresses are stored, um, how you can create the email custom field to be able to actually get those um, email addresses, and then how to use Zapier to send it over to ActiveCampaign. Um, I specifically use ActiveCampaign you'll be able to use whatever CRM or autoresponder that, that you want to use. Um, I like to send it out to email my messenger bot hacks guide automatically um, if somebody chooses to put their email in. So how we have to do that, um, just so you know to start, you have to have a pro account if you want to use Zapier and uh, collect email addresses. So that's the first thing you'll have to pay the $10 a month for the pro account. So this field here is where we're gonna collect the actual email addresses. And that is this option down here, the user input. So you have to have a place where the user can input their email address so ManyChat knows what to do with it. So when you select this field, it's gonna bring up the edit the user input. You're gonna keep this on free text. And what that means is it allows the user to freely type whatever they want, which is gonna be their email address you have to save that answer to a custom field, which is gonna be for their email. But before you can collect the email address, you have to create a custom field so ManyChat knows how to actually grab that email address and store it for you. So that is a little uh, more difficult to set up, not difficult, but it's kind of hidden in the back end. So you wanna go under settings and under custom fields. This is where you create your custom fields so ManyChat can store the email information. So all you would do is create a new custom field, which I've already done here, so that's email. Keep it as a text because people are gonna type in their email, and then you can put a description if you like for collecting emails. Once you've created the custom field, now you can go back into your sequence or to your automation and input that information. So that's where I have already done this. I've already created what I wanna to say to my, to my potential customers. So Jarvis can also email you the guide as well. Just type your email address below. So Jarvis is my personal bot assistant. That's my bot's personality that I created. Um, and I just have him set up as, as an assistant and he handles all my, <clears throat> all my backend work for me in the, in the messenger bot itself. So he's gonna collect this email address the user types it in, and then I just say, thanks, Jarvis just emailed you the guide. So that's all you need to do on the ManyChat side. That will store the email address for you. If you go under audience, let me switch here. I don't want to pull up any of my audience people for um, privacy issues. So let me go to my test page, and I will show you where the, audience, uh, where the email is actually stored. So if you go under your audience, your people will be listed here. Click on it. And now it shows the custom fields that you've collected. So you could collect a phone number. If I had typed in my email address as a, as a customer or a client, my email address would be here. That's where you're storing it is under the custom fields section. So now that we have that set up, let me go back to my real page here. Now we can flow over to the Zapier side. So I already have ManyChat and Zapier connected and Active Campaign and Zapier connected. That's very easy to do. You guys will be able to figure that out. Uh, Zapier pretty much does it for you with just a couple clicks. Once you're inside of the Zap itself, there's a few options that you have to pick. So we'll go on under the ManyChat side so you guys can see exactly how to set this up. On ManyChat, you wanna be able to select new or updated custom field for this specific example, because the custom field is the email address, and that's what Zapier needs to find and pull that and zap it over to ActiveCampaign. So that's where your updated custom field comes from. Not a subscriber, not a tag user in this scenario. So we'll click continue. 
Now we know the connection is here. I, you know, I did this about a week ago originally. We'll go ahead and test it to make sure that it's still working. We'll click continue. Now in this section where this says email, this is the custom field that you created in ManyChat to be able to collect the email addresses. So Zapier can go in here and see what field you're trying to capture the information from. If we were trying to do a phone number or any of the other fields that we created, they would be in this list here. Zapier pulls from this list automatically. So of course, we're gonna keep it as an email, uh, email address. So it automatically tests that for us, tests successful, so we know the connection is working. So we'll go ahead and click continue. All right, great, we know that Zap is working between ManyChat and Zapier. Now we have to go in and set up the Zap from Active Campaign and Zapier. So once you're in the Active Campaign, there's a few different options in here. For our example here, we wanna add somebody to an automation. So I've already created the automation inside of Active Campaign to tell Active Campaign when they see a new um, a new member coming to the automation, they know to send out the email so the person can download my messenger bot guide. So in Active Campaign itself, let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Sorry, the screen keeps getting in the way. All right, so in Active Campaign under automations, or whatever your CRM is or whatever your autoresponder is, you wanna create this first so Zapier can go in and have something to look for. If you don't have it set up yet, Zapier won't be able to find it, so you have to create that first. So now we can go back to Zapier. So we wanna add them to this automation. Once that's done, you can test it to make sure that the connection is good. Now we'll go in and create the sequence that has to happen. So the automation inside Active Campaign is for my Messenger Bot Hacks Guide. This part has to be the user custom fields email. So you're gonna have a lot of options down here. This is pulling, again, information from ManyChat so it knows what to look for. Well, you've created a custom field for email. So you have to pick the user custom field so Zapier can go in there and grab that email address and attach it to Active Campaign. So remember, you have to pick this one or the connections won't work. So here's user custom fields phone number because I created one for phone number. I also created one for email. So that's why I know we have to pick the user custom fields for email. So once that's in there, the last thing you do on this page is tell it that it's for an email. So Zapier will know what we're looking for. Now I skipped the test here for a reason. So let's redo the test. So if you were to test it like this, this field right here, it's gonna come up that it's not working. So we'll go in here and I'll show you guys. Here's an error because there's no email address currently in ManyChat. So at least for me, the way I fixed that is I skipped the test because when Zapier goes in to find an email address, right now there's no email address because nobody's currently typing, typing in their email address. So there's nothing for Zapier to find. But when someone does actively type in their email address, the connection will work. So that's why we're going to skip this step and it will tell you that it's working. So your Zap is working even though the test failed. That's because there's no email address currently in my ManyChat uh, flow right now. But we know it's working because when you go into the automation, you can test it. So I will pull up this and you can see there's several email addresses that have been captured. 
and sent out. So you can always go back and test it. So once you're in active campaign, then I can see three unopened emails, two opened. So these are the emails that have been sent out from people coming through my bot flow that wanted me to email them. So just be aware, that's a little tip, that when you are setting up the Zap, it will fail because there's not a current email address in there right now. It will only recognize it when a user actually types in the email address itself. So that's how you guys can go in, collect email addresses, set up your user custom field to actually be able to store the email address, connect Zapier with Active Campaign or whatever your uh, CRM is or your autoresponder is, and that way you'll be able to take advantage of collecting email addresses. So if you guys like this video, comment below, like it, share it, let me know if you uh, enjoy this content that, that I put out. Um, if you have any other uh, videos that you want me to make, let me know, and I'll go in and make the video and let everybody see um, what's going on. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm Josh, the Mustache Marketer. You guys, have a great day.